know how how much some of you hate to show up at work especially when it's monday not because it's actually monday but because of the disrespect that awaits you either by your superiors or your subordinates in as much as some of this disrespect that you face uh, uh is nothing that one should support or should encourage but i can say that some are self-inflicted but others are actually based on those people's character that you just have to deal with and while you're thinking maybe i should just stay back but bills have to be paid bills have to be paid and you have to eat food so this is today's live on Equa Television International, and we're going to be talking about bringing humanity and fairness to the workplace um, so that at the end of the day, we'll achieve a lot of productivity, far from disrespect. Let's talk about mutual respect. I mean, respect from myself to you and then you towards another person. My name is Joyce Jakada. We're live on Facebook and on YouTube at Equa Television International. Yours sincerely, Engineer Tony J. Nakali is seated. Don't you, did he? <laughs> So no, you bought an I issue. Yeah, I don't, I'm not aware. <laughs> so no, you bought an issue. I'm not aware. I picked from you should, and Jemima. We should buy FCC new, for no. them. They are wearing new new shoes. No, 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 no. Mine for is me, old. Can, <laughs> after we have not paid salary. Wow. <laughs> Joyce, it's only me and you that are wearing old we, shoes. We should call the FCC for this too. <laughs> salary has not come. People are wearing shoes. <laughs> I mean, the money. This shoe is so far, it should be a prop. They should put it in Please front somewhere and let's decorate the set. <laughs> raise the leg, raise the leg. Greet us with the leg now. Hey, no money, no price, money. Price. No money, no, no money. money. If, no money, no money. If I didn't raise my leg, she would I didn't eat, I didn't eat. Joyce, what's you the then? topic of the show today again? Mutual respect. This shoe is disrespecting me. Oh, Lord. Mutual <laughs> disrespect. No food, no food. I'm not eating food. See you, shoe. Wow. Mm. <laughs> you say I should raise my leg. Let's leave and worldly leave things and so talk that about that the word of God. Things like this will not matter on the chat. I'm telling you. Mm. If you like, finish wearing it and not. If food. I saw this shoe, I would have come without shoes on my leg. <laughs> but it's not true. It is well. God will provide for mm. you. We're talking about respect. Like I said earlier, some people wake up and feel like not going to work. Maybe because of an experience of uh, maybe with colleagues, some people showing disrespect, some people maybe just dragging based on their character. But in some cases, some of this disrespect are self inflicted because if you don't give people opportunity, while I know people would definitely be people, but other times it's when they have the opportunity to do that that you, you find out people are being disrespectful. And when disrespect exists in a work environment, you hardly find productivity because at that point everybody is feeling you can't talk to me, you can't do this to me, you can't do so. Let me just be the god of myself and let me be the boss of myself as well. So, but let's let's talk about mutual respect it, respect should not be one-sided i know our norms and traditions have always taught us how to be respectful <coughs> like you see an older person you give the person chair it's expected you greet the person and all of that but should respect be one-sided should it be two-way we're talking about workplace now so sp speak to us let me begin with you speak to us on mutual I, respect i think i should come from um, an, an obscure point. Everybody has um, two ways of growth in their lives. Is what is my personal belief and what have I've imbibed as a as a as a way of life. Your physical growth, right? Which is what we see. You know, you grow inches higher. And then there is your intellectual growth, which is paramount. Your physical growth does not put food on your table. Your physical growth, as a matter of fact, does not do anything for you. It just says that you are healthy and you are growing well. That's all. It doesn't have any benefits. But you see, your intellectual growth is why where everyone is where they are today mm -hmm. is what gives you money is what gives you the job you have mm -hmm. is what makes the man 
run away. Is what made the lady to stay with you. It's, a, it's intellectual growth. You see, how come what you see with your eye is not as bad as what you hear with your ears? How come? When people start saying, you are this, you are that, you are this, you are that, you hear it, you hear it, you hear it, you, I, I would never respect Joyce Takada and all of that. When you take such negative thoughts, such negative statements, such negative comments into your mind, you start depreciating in terms of growing intellectually. It starts affecting your productivity. You see how I understand life? You see how I understand life? Uh -huh. So, if you are talking about mutual respect, you woke up this morning, you disrespected me. Instead of responding, I should find out first, what did I do to end that? I didn't do anything, forge ahead. Your growth is of more importance to you than anything. From yesterday, to yesterday till this morning, I think I've received over 100 messages on WhatsApp of how people are busy insulting me on one side. Other people are busy praising me on the other side. I have decided to carry the praises. <laughs> it's the same data. It's the same data. It's the same blue up. It's the same blue up. It's the same green up. It's the same green up. But it's just the intellect of the people. One decided to go to the right. The other one decided to go to the left. Now, these insults are disrespectful. They are disrespectful. Very true. It's not just at work. Mm. The, the state government of uh, Gombe, yesterday um, we observed a Thanksgiving at Equa Good News GRA to celebrate with the government of the state five years in office. Mm. Of course, May 29, but mm. between now and the next May 29, there is no... So we decided that the Muslims will do their prayers in the mosque on Friday and the Christians will do their church service on Sunday. So I joined the deputy governor to the church and we did a thanksgiving. Of course, people were there. People took pictures and posted. And people started insulting. Don't call him GM Equity, we call him Tony Nakali. I'm wondering when I'll stop being GM. That, that is disrespect. Mm. I have not received a letter that my appointment is terminated. I have not. Mm. But that is, is disrespectful. Mm. But I have decided to pay no mind to it because I don't have time. If people have lost their minds, mm. don't lose yours. Mm. That's true. You need it. Mm. You need it. Mm. So everybody who's, who's, who, who has lost his sanity, who has lost his mind, busy insulting, busy saying this and that, Look at the bright side. If you have five comments mm. of insults and you have just one comment mm. that is praiseworthy of who you are, that's the reality of who you are. Mm. And if you know that you have been doing bad things and people are insulting, that's not an insult. It's the truth they are telling you. True. So pick it, run with it, and change. Mm. So Joyce, if you are talking about mutual respect, mm. it does not exist in today's world. Respect people all you want. Mm. If people's mind is bent on disrespecting people. They will disrespect you. Mm. Haven't you seen people who will come out and say their pastor is this way, is that way? They have not had a single respect for that pastor from first day. Mm. Haven't you seen people who wake up and say the governor of this state is this, is that? The governor of that state is this, is that? You don't respect your government. In fact, the Bible says pray for your enemies. Mm. If that man is your enemy, have you prayed for him? Mm. The same Bible says pray for those in authority. Mm. So if your, past, if your governor is your enemy, mm. you have two prayers to pray for him. You, or you have two reasons to pray for him. Number one, if you have declared him your enemy and he's not even aware. <laughs> because that's a painful thing. Most of these people are not even aware that you have, you yes. have, you have made them enemies. So if you, if you have made him an enemy, you have pronounced that your governor is an enemy, the Bible says pray for your enemy. So you have to pray. And the Bible did not say pray for him to die. No. You have to pray that he succeeds. And the Bible says pray for those in authority. 
Your the person, your enemy is in authority. So pray for the Bible says whether he didn't say whether they are doing good or bad. Mm, for those in authority, the government shall be upon his shoulders. So Christians are thinking that shoulder because it's the shoulder of Jesus Christ. It is our shoulder. So let's pull some people down so that they will not be on the shoulder of Jesus Christ. The owner of the shoulder said they should be there. Amazing. Mm. So you see, Joyce, you are talking about this respect. It is embedded within certain people not to respect you no matter how well you do in life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that fact must be established. If you are watching this show, Mm -hmm. you must understand that there are people that have made it a concited effort Mm -hmm. not to respect you. Mm -hmm. It is a concited effort. Mm -hmm. As much as mutual respect is expected. Whatever you do that should (laughs) demand respect, Mm -hmm. they will keep insulting you. A governor of a state will say, I'm doing 100 kilometers of road, but I'm spreading it into this way. Even when they do their own, they will say that you didn't start with their own. If you start with their own, they will say you started their own so that you use uh, fake products and carry it. Whatever you do, people will talk. And it will be disrespectful. So why on the journey of success pay mind to people who have lost it? That's why I said earlier on, for some people, it is their nature. Mm. So while mutual respect is expected at work, somebody is held bent on that's who you are. Or that's what you expect. And that's or, why I, I said never. your growth intellectually will begin to diminish mm. because you are listening but once people, uh, uh, there are people in this life, they are not happy in a place where there is no gossip. If you sit with people and you start talking, ah, um, work, I think uh, by Tuesday, I have today's life. Today is Thursday. That topic is serious. I want to start working on it. And Jamima will be like, oh, wow. Honestly, I also have this show on Thursday. And I'm going to, and you know how the GM wants you to be slick and all of that. And that is all you are discussing all day. Matter is there standing. What is wrong with these foolish people? You didn't hear yesterday that seller insulted Mata or or Lad Ladidi or anybody. Do, what what is your own take? Leave this show. This show you are doing it every day. What do you think we should do? Some people want to be in that kind of uh, a position. Some people would want to be in this kind of position where growth is inevitable. So you must understand that. I tell you something. Somebody sent me a message on WhatsApp today. A proposal I sent to them 20 years ago. 20 years ago. One point something million. It was 400 and something that was uh, approved. Hmm. And he said, you have known your onions for long. Should I post this? I said, no. Hmm. You see my letterhead. It's, it's like a <laughs> nursery school t- student that, that designed it. But at least I was doing things 20 years ago. <laughs> Yes, hmm. in Abuja, hmm. Just, Joyce. If I stayed back, you said twenty years ago, I didn't have disrespectful people. I did to my face hmm. by calls. I had them in church everywhere, but I was still writing proposals. Hmm. I was still doing deals. I still forged ahead. Hmm. I still did. People will talk to you even about the things you are weak. And I recognize this is true. I'm weak here. I'm weak there. I'm weak. But I didn't stop. The focal point was my success. Is my success. Will continue to be my success. Whatever you say is immaterial. So it's a concerted effort. You begin to diminish because you keep eating. So you keep growing. But that's not the growth that is important. Look at Sele now. She's the shortest person in Equa TV. But she's doing brilliant shows on TV. What has that got to do with her intellect? She's mm. taller intellectually than mm. most tall people. I don't know why mm. she's not the one doing today's life, self. Mm. Would have had more intellectual points than having tall person that doesn't have much uh, to offer. Jemima, you, know? you know, when you are disrespected at work, like when, when you are disrespected... Joyce, you know you I love you. Shows. Joyce, you know I love you. When you are disrespected... You know you I love you. Shows. I want to take you abroad so that they'll cover this. this what is this, this spot on your face? On the left side of your tiny moon. What is this? <laughs> See, we, talk, we are talking about this respect. I said love. I just said I love you. Is that not such easy plan for? Is it easy for somebody like me to love somebody like you? You are not lovable See, if you don't just know. See, <laughs> just see. Just see. Even on TV. But it's well. You know, and Dina told me he said something earlier on. You should choose the positive and leave the negative. The ne- so which is the ne- positive that you have taken? <laughs> after commenting on the negative. <laughs> Pay no mind.
want to eat. <laughs> you said you, you said pay no minor. That's a great one. Mm. But speak to us on those people that decide to throw the two well. A lot of people have like decided to resign and quit their job because I can't take disrespect. Mm. For other people, they feel instead of dragging myself into certain drama, it's better I leave the environment. So, so what do you think is the better option? Even as Tony said from his point of view, now pay no attention. What do you do in as much as you're trying to give him respect, but people are consistently throwing disrespect at you? And Why that you is affecting you. That is well, not um, disrespected. I think. <laughs> have you been disrespected like, at any point? Times, oh, yes. wow. Even yeah, you. At work. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times at even work you. and in other places. Oh, at work, well, even you. <laughs> Oh wow! Is that his only well, I think. Tell um, me something. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm about to tell you something. I'm <laughs> waiting. I'm waiting. Call the names. <laughs> Let's hear that. Okay. Ah. Um, I think. May I add a good Victor? Morning drive. <laughs> Morning drive. <laughs> she had this respect like I'm a perfect Victor Bande. Okay, Bande. But if you get you will not see yourself on this shot again. You see. <laughs> That is because you won't that the picture. You see, Joy, see, he has avoided her shot tonight. Ah, Victor, bring her back, please. We beg you, bring her back. You see? Okay, um, I think um, this 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 caliber of people you just mentioned are those that expect that when they give out respect, they get respect you back mean like in return. <laughs> Okay, but like he earlier said, there, 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 there are times that, like okay, <laughs> like, like you earlier screen. said, there are times <laughs> that <laughs> you, you, you're constantly giving out respect, but you're not getting it back in return. So in this opportunity, in this time, you, you don't just say, because I'm not getting respect back, I should stop respecting people. Mm. No, you mm. keep continuing. But before you get to that point whereby you keep continuing to give out respect, you must have built thick skin, like Joyce will always say, mm. so that whatever comes your way. I learned it from engineer. Yes. Okay, you. okay, okay. Hey. Like you have taught Joyce, and she keeps give telling us, accolade. "I am giving you your flowers." But you had it from who? <laughs> eh, I had it from Joyce. And I learned from you. Continue. <laughs> So okay, that did, means you, respect did you learn again. it from Solomon so, Sambo so, uh, too? <laughs> so, <laughs> so that means all this while you are not been watching, watching him on TV. So like we were saying, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you want to cause one drama now? Just like, like that. You want to shake table with ass for legs? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Back to so you will not always get that respect mm. back, but nevertheless, you should continue to do that, which is right. So whether people are giving you that respect or not, they are according it to you, you should constantly give out the respect because it's your life, it's not theirs. So whatever you do, it is still your own life. But I am aware that certain conflicts lead to development. Yes. So would you say, I would like Salvo Slovon to respond to that, that maybe once in a while you change it for certain people. Should you? Maybe people that think that um, they have monopoly over disrespect. Should you, like, should you address certain... Because if we're saying that like teach people them a lesson. will definitely be people. So should you allow people continue to disrespect you even when like you didn't give them that platform opportunity to disrespect you but they feel, oh, I have monopoly of that. Oh, you cannot do the, like anything about it. Don't you think that once in a while you should address them? It's normal. Yes, it's normal. I feel once in a while you should address certain things because not addressing it and knowing that truly that is the pattern that someone chooses. Even though I'm not talking about blue, so. <laughs> okay. Once in a while you address. Why? Because if you look at the life of Jesus, he addresses so many things and he overlooked so many things. He flogged so, people so in the temple. <laughs> you said? He flogged people in the temple. Yeah, so he's addressing. Mm. So he said this is not the way to go mm. and he feels yes. <laughs> Use his father's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, because you know, there are people that think that because you don't respond, yeah. you decide. So it has become no. I'm the only one that have monopoly of violence. Mm. I'm the only one that can disrespect and dish it out. No, but this person will not do anything. It's not in this person's nature to retaliate. Yeah. So I can disrespect the person whenever and however. No, like you said, some people is in their nature. Mm. Is their di- is in their DNA mm. to disrespect. So whether you fight them, mm. whether you flog them, whether you allow them. You just keep them at arm's length. They would always do because they would always find a way mm. that they would just dis- because they feed on that. Mm. 
yeah, keeping them at at uh, arms at arm's length. You didn't bring them close to disrespect <coughs> you. Mm. Whoever is not is natural with to disrespect will disrespect. Mm. But I have a question for the three of you. Okay. You went to the river to swim, and your clothes is by the river bank. Mm. Bank by the by the side of the river, whatever it is called. <laughs> yeah, from and you see. Again? Sorry, continue. I can hear you clearly. <laughs> Sorry, oh sorry. I don't mean to. And you see me. a madman like Joyce <laughs> come and pick your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> she should have known that she shouldn't be. Yes. Don't flirt with me. Don't patronize me. <laughs> so you see, <laughs> this question is for three of you. You are in the river taking a swim, and your clothes are by the side of the river, by the dry side of the river. And you see someone that is insane picking your clothes and running with them. What would you do? I would remain inside the river. Because if you <laughs> run after that person, you would be the insane one. <laughs> Joyce will follow that person. The Joyce that I know. <laughs> Joyce, what will you do? <laughs> I'll, I'll just walk to the side. And stone the person. I get you know. the leg. <laughs> but you see, you see, at that point in time, that person who has taken your clothes mm. and is running with it might be dressed. Mm. Mm. And you come out undressed. Mm. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Where do you think the attention will go to? To the undress. To the undress. So why would you pay mind to someone whose nature mm. is disrespect? Mm. Mm. Because the person would not mind taking off their clothes in the river uh, in the marketplace mm. to fight you back. That's not your nature. But because you temporarily got angry, you want to respond to somebody whose way of life is making people angry. I think there are a lot of lessons that people should learn. I engaged you in a conversation recently. You burned my data for no reason, telling me a lot of things. What did I tell you? Do not. I said do not. There are so many people in this life who don't, who don't understand. Apart from being in this world, there's nothing else. Mm. There's nothing else. But for you, apart from being in this world, you have a lot of things you want to achieve. Don't you think that's a distraction? Why would you stop to respond to the things that are not on your path to success? Why? Makes no sense completely. No sense. There are people I have fixed appointment with. They say, come Thursday by 2. Mm. Fuel my car, travel to far distance. And the people say they don't have time to see you. Mm. What will you do? Drive back and go back. Mm. But one day, they will be the ones looking for you. I am a, see, I am a living testimony of things like that. Somebody told me in Abuja in 2005, 6, between 2005 and 2006, he said, all these people, that are treating you this way, you will feed them in in, 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 in the future. Yeah. I have fed them, I'm still feeding them, and I will continue feeding them. He told me. I never told him this is what people are doing to me. Mm. But he said, this life, you have a bright future. Don't respond. Don't spend time fighting these people. 2005, 2005-2006. Look at it today. I'm not doing I'm not bragging that I'm doing it, mm. but it's a fulfillment of prophecy. Mm. What is the gain in stopping to fight someone about his nature? Is a question now. You just tell the person to change his age. <laughs> There's no gain, sir. There's no gain. You are fighting somebody because the person is tall. Mm. What can you do about the height? Nothing. Nothing. And God help you, the person is not done growing. <laughs> He has more inches to, to add. So you keep getting angry. Why would you just stop? No, that woman is short. We must address this issue. And you stop your car. Mother, why are you short? No, it's the same with people's character. When you notice, this is how Jemima is. Arms length. If you can cut this leg and join so that it will be further away, she'll be further away from you. You do it. Ah, Jemima, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. And you see, uh, as Some of you at work, you have, especially ladies, <laughs> Hey, this your hair is fine. Is it Zara? 
Ah, it's not Zara, but it looks like Zara. That is where you start the problem. Because she has to respond. Even the question they didn't ask her, she will answer. No, this is not the 15,000 naira own. This is the 45,000 naira own. And the other person starts thinking, you are right. Who has time for that? So no, your shoe is far. Oh, thank you. Where did you buy it? How much? Men don't have time for that. But you take me to your tailor. Take me to your friend. Take before you know it, you have started talking with your tailor. You have started talking with your friend. I need an ad at the she need a time before you know it. Fight. But who has time for that? When is there anything you want that you cannot Google and know where it's made? Why would you use flesh and blood Google? When there is a Google that will not tell anybody you, your secret. How to go to this place in Google will tell you and you not tell people that he told you. That's all. There are, there are so many Joyce, ways. change your ways. It's not uh, just uh, change. change. I, I don't know this way is not about me. <laughs> there are so many ways. Uh, I think there are a lot of ways to deal with people that are disrespectful. In as much as respect is supposed to be mutual and then while you give it, the other person is not giving you. There are different ways. You you talk about putting people at arms there to talk about not paying attention. It was last week that Sambos Luma was talking about, we're talking about social media and personal problems. How certain people feel the best way to address certain things is just to take it to their status or their timeline. And then think about it 24 hours later, the person that we posted for did not view your status. Like... I can't imagine the pain you have to deal with. So there are certain things you do so that people will react. Most of the people that are disrespectful, they do certain things so that they get your reaction. So think about it when you don't even pay attention to it, even if it's coming from your superior. Like I said earlier, some people struggle to go to work because like, they feel their superiors are torn on their flesh. Like, I don't want to go and face this person. This person has been really disrespectful to me. I, I've, I've tried my best to respect him or her, but I keep getting disrespect in return. Like, sh just move your mind away from whatever is causing this disrespect. Like, focus on your work. A lot of times, I keep, personally, I remind myself of the reason why I am at work. Like, it saves me a lot of trouble. Why you are thinking that certain relevance should be given to you? Well, is that why you are at work? So what is your primary reason of being in that place? I think if you are guided daily by why you are at work, then you find yourself discharging your responsibility without having any cause to worry. Do, you, do a statistics of, of your, your achievement daily. Mm. When you come to work today, mm. when you close, put gossip productivity at work, mm. friendliness, mm. and then accomplishment. Mm. Then you rate yourself. Mm. In, see, you will see that you didn't do the work you are paid for sure. as much as you did the other ones that will cause you problems mm -hmm. at the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And most of the things that cause the pain to people at work there are things that are not relevant to the work. Of course. The primary assignment. And you come to work and spend the whole day angry and fighting things okay. that have nothing take to do with the job. Just take example from mm. where we work. Mm. We're in a broadcast. I don't say we have people. I'm not saying mm. we have, have mm. people like that. Even if we do, God bless them wherever they are. But <laughs> I'm just saying, have you ever seen Jemima mm. fighting um, who now? Anybody. No, let me call names. <laughs> I'm not afraid of La Didi. Mm. Okay. That 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 girl, La Didi. Well, is she still working here? Have you ever seen Jemima fighting La Didi because Ladidi put out a better show and Jemima is saying, I'm going to do better. Mm. I'm going to give the <coughs> best in my next show and I'll do better than you. Have mm. you ever seen such fight? You will never see it. <laughs> that is a holy competition. Mm. It's, it's a righteous one. Mm. But what you hear is, you know, uh, Ladidi has been wearing this fake wig. Very cheap one. Now she's cutting her hair. Is the hair growing? <laughs> I just said La Didi, yeah. the hair is growing. Because she doesn't have money to buy with one. All the ones she has, we have seen them. The ones she has, she has used them, we have seen them. She repeated them for four years, we have seen them. Yeah. yeah. I hope Very she... sad. But you see, she's fighting Jamima that has over 40. She can use one every day of the week, of the month. Mm. And the La Didi is living very fast. You see their house. But Jamima, they will come and pick her in the car. Ladidi will climb bike, climb horse, 
there is a place in the area only us can go so you go like israel you see camel will take you to one place and kill okay. you how can you fight somebody like that you are always fighting things that are things that are not long lasting all this hair that you people have give it one two years something new will come out you talk even if it's the same hair is a is a different type that will that will come out so you find out that huh, i even fought over this hair oh god it's not a rave of the moment it's a foolishness it's a foolishness when do we have time for that? You see, you see why I grow my I don't have money every week to go and cut it. So I bab twice a year. That's a secret. I'm sorry. Don't I look fine? I don't know. Solo was babbing every week. Sometimes twice. I asked him, I said, how much are you spending? He'd go and look at his old today's life. He's looking like something from Michael Jackson's thriller. <laughs> look at him now. He's carrying hair. He looks good. Unfortunately, some people cannot carry hair. Is he not a blessing? And there are some it, honestly look at me i'm dark even though it's because the sun has looked upon me mm. but you cannot bleach your skin to be this color mm. you can only go that way and if you go that way there is no coming back mm. <laughs> so you see why are we fighting and disrespecting ourselves over things that are not they don't matter in this office there are people that will tell you you ask them are you born again <laughs> i got born again since before i finished secondary school oh. But the impact of that born againness. <laughs> I think why people want to um, do that is because of the competitiveness out there. Mm. You know, I want to outshine this person. I want people to look at me with some uh, more value, how like the percentage of the value. That's, let's start from. Let's start do, from do there. How much you have? To know how much they have. No, how much do you have? Let's start from there. Mm. Mm. That's, that's, that's A lot of them can even. That's decide not to feed just to borrow. look it i was so on phone i was on phone with someone mm. yesterday i was on phone with someone yesterday an executive of a state i said he said they're building more schools i said sir how many people can afford schools now mm. Mm. i said you shouldn't build schools you build hospitals True. and make sure they are functional and bring back this issue of ambulance so you don't have to build plenty hospitals. Let there be ambulance that people can reach out from the village. They will get treatment, even if it's drip, to the hospital. Mm. Ensure that works. But you see, school, people don't have money to afford it. So if you build it, you are wasting resources. Mm. It's important to have schools. The ones you have in the state, they're adequate. Mm. Leave that word going to health. Because it's a challenge. It's a challenge. See, somebody does not even have food to eat. He will fall sick. Mm. You think now people's priority is to go to school? Certificates that people are buying up and down? Mm. Some people tell us they have PhD. Speak common English. You are talking like Tony Nakali on today's life. We didn't went. Hmm. Do, do you understand? Yes. I, I don't even know why I allow Joyce to teach me English. So you see, honestly, of a truth, sir, mm. of a truth, call a spade a spade. <laughs> Look at what you need to address in your life and address it. Look at what is in somebody's li life. If it needs to be addressed, mm. talk to the person. Mm. In love, yes. open rebuke mm. is better than secret love. Mm. It, so quietly tell the person, ah, my sister, this is your hair. You used to, it's not full most of the time. So when you turn this way, we used to see the, the inside. Why would you not make it fuller or just tie that place? I think that's just what uh, I have. And if you like, like Jamima, why say it? That's what gives you disrespect. So when you say it, say it nicely. And say, you see, you see, Someone may not talk to you for a long time because of this thing you said. Jamima, you didn't see me coming like this. I saw a lady trying to dance very well. Somebody's wedding and the decoration of those held the hair. So no. when she did like this, it just went out. Ooh. And these people that wear this thing, they used to have chopped their hair. There's no hair here. Oh, no. they, they don't have full hair. People who have full hair, they keep it natural. They just keep a ponytail. And you admire it. Niba. But they just make waving in front like brothers. I don't know all these ungodly things that you're talking about, but <laughs> me, I like to see a lady with her natural hair, mm. with natural weaves on. Mm. Oh, say, man. And I am sure 60% <laughs> of men in Nigeria, that's what we want, if not 70. Yeah, but, all these things you are uh, doing, you may just look beautiful. One. But they are saying that uh, 
the the men that say that they are running away from responsibility. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> poor men that's don't. Poor men. Poor men don't say things like that. Only rich people that say things like that. That's true. Mm. Uh, uh, if somebody can buy you a car and tell you not to wear wig, hmm. And mm. somebody that will invite you to his house and buy wig for you, but you know what that person will do to you. Is fifty times the money of that week. Which man do you prefer? That's up to you in the comment section. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, since, <laughs> since we have to work, mm. people need to focus on themselves. Like mm. I, I think I made this point earlier today, and Angelina Tony reiterated that focus on yourself, <laughs> focus on building capacity. Mm. When you are focused, you won't have time for a lot of things. Mm. You won't have to be picking stones and throwing them mm. at because we're, all these things are distraction. Mm. It tells who you are, how you relate to people and how you communicate mm. to people. Mm. If you give out respect, when you talk to people in respect, when you give people, when you acknowledge the greatness in people and the value that everyone has, it tells on. And if you are that person that works with people, but you're always disregarding the uniqueness in those people, focusing on their weaknesses, it also tells on who you are. I mean, think about supporting somebody that is weak at work mm -hmm. instead of disrespecting the person. Think about when this person becomes better. You don't even need to applaud yourself, but the person will always live to appreciate you mm -hmm. for seeing uniqueness, for seeing seeing value for acknowledging our diversity and saying that oh this person actually helped me and pulled me through there are a lot of people that you work with when it comes to uh let's say work maybe because you have one challenge or the other you say oh, as far as this work is concerned i can't trust this person with they've not tried the person but maybe based on what other people have said and they decided not to work oh this person is not from my place i cannot do things with this person oh this person is always boastful i cannot do this you just write people off but i think for productivity's sake and to achieve the goal of whatever organization you work with or your own personal business it's very important that you give out respect like i mean it says a lot about who you are i've met with people that when when i hear their profile i'm amazed at how humble they are and you're wondering that despite these heights that this person has achieved yet this humility because you we live in a time where it's hard for you to see people display or show humility like everybody is just moving around with pride pompousness and like i'm better than this i'm better than that person i can't stand with this i can't start i can't do this with this person i can't do that with that person oh this person disrespected me i have to give it to the person double fold people fighting and all of that how but much do you earn at the end of this the, the, as far as they are concerned they've proven a point what do you gain <laughs> after proving the point mm. that's the point what did, if they do it to me i must do it yes, back yes mm. all this street mentality you will go and lose an eye mm. Mm. doing it mm. Or lose a, a a body part doing it. Mm. You don't even know. There are people that are under influences. True. Somebody will go and take something, and you are you want to fight the person. Mm. At that point, knife looks like a stone. Mm. At that point, fire looks like water. Mm. At that point, nothing really looks straight mm. until they use it on you, mm. and then the person will say, "I don't know what came over me," and then they say, "Pardon the person for he didn't know what he was doing," mm. and then you are with one eye. Who will marry you? <laughs> Let's learn to let. Uh, they are saying this. That's their business. Mm. Me, I have work to do. Mm. It's important. Imagine when God was creating the heavens and the earth. If He paid mind to the voices He was hearing, mm -hmm. or what people will say mm. after making man and putting yes here. Why not here? Why not here? Why, 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 do you think that man will be created? No. The computers that you are using and the phones that you are using, if people did not concentrate to make them, how will you use them to gossip? Imagine how people are making perfect things for us to use. Mm, you, you are using your life, your time, mm. that you are not even sure you have enough mm. to fight the same God's creature. No. I'm not, I am an unwilling participant when it comes to things like that. Mm. I have been fought. I, they are still fighting me every now and then. In church, they are fighting you. At home, they are fighting you. Family is fighting you. Friends are fighting you. Enemies are fighting you. <laughs> Auntie, Fight everywhere. even money is fighting you. Come <laughs> now, I don't know. I will not come. <laughs> so what will you do? You just come and add to the the problems that are existing already. No. You free your mind. You let things to enter and leave. Enter and leave. The good ones, store them. 
enter and leave. And if you store something and it's becoming bad, you do undo. Mm. It's control Z, it's not hard. <laughs> control Z, undo saving. Mm. The thing will be, they say, they call, it will ask you delete permanently, click yes three times in case the computer <laughs> forgets. <laughs> So that it will be a deliberate attempt. You see, there this life, when you start telling people things, they'll be like, so me, if they tell me this, I should allow them. God forbid, it's not me. I will fight them. Okay. All the best. Tomorrow, is that person that will come and tell you to forgive her. After you have... See, there are all these things. People have gone through these things in life. Like earlier, when I was talking about the life of Jesus. You know, in other he, words, he, we interrupted him. N- n- no, I'm just trying to reiterate... <laughs> Uh, your, your point, okay. you know, thank you, that, thank that you, thank says, um, you, you, you should <laughs> undo. <laughs> Did you notice Solo is talking uh, because of that shoe? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should undo. <laughs> Am I the one hearing undo? Okay, continue. You know, see, his composure is different. Wear new shoes every day so that you'll be composed, <laughs> prof. <laughs> wow. Well, uh, should I say it? One shoe, Blush. three colors. I, I should say. <laughs> <laughs> Please make your point. <laughs> well, I picked it from the bunch of shoes that he has, so <laughs> I'm grateful. I'm represented. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, that so was he stole my shoe. You <laughs> 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 brought Jamie, stolen property. She thought. <laughs> Jamie, but where will you pick our own? <laughs> you are. <laughs> so the preacher is preaching with the stolen shoe, and you are listening. It's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Shoot Tifa. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see car to steal. You see. chose you <laughs> stole you. I feel let me steal begin, something begin. that will not bother me. <laughs> 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 so uh, the point you said control Z mm. when it said permanent delete, like mm. click the yes three times. Mm. If you look at the life of Jesus, um the way he 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 relate with people you could see the reason why some people are around him some are just to get food still yet disrespected him but he gave them he gave them because he's all is all knowing he knows why am i saying this is because of the the intellectual capacity that you talked about so you build yourself to that capacity that had and sense certain things you will you by certain behaviors you will be able to know how uh some people behave or the reason why some people are around you and to some you pay mind some you you just allowed it to be because like the house i mean how someone will say uh um <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so you 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 know the person the person will be there but probably at that point, he is thinking that he is he's, um, he's around you for what he will get. Not knowing that he's still positioning himself around you. That God will use him for something. You, you, you understand? So, 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 you see how Jesus allow all manner of kind of people around him. And then he know how to place them. He know how to deal with them. But what am I trying to say? Don't know till you tell At us. the end, <laughs> <laughs> at the end, mm. if you look at it, he respects the, the the level of respect that Jesus showed to people. Mm. You know, it's so amazing that mm. even knowing that some people will betray him to death, mm. he still accommodates them. He gives them that space of theirs because he knows that his own. And he allowed it. So that is why it's important for you to have wisdom. Like you earlier said. And I, I think all of you made that point. You know. Just just don't react for, for just reacting sake. That is where wisdom will play. When, when some people are doing certain things. At some point you talked about reaction. Some people will just do something. Just they want you to react. When you don't react. It gets back to them. You see it. Because this is what they are expecting. Joyce will act this way if I do this way. And then when I'm acting this way, Joyce is looking the other way around. And then when I'm hot. That means double honor. Double, <laughs> double honor. 
you, you understand? So you apply wisdom, you know when to address certain things and you know when to let certain things go. But you see this issue of mutual respect is for us to understand where God places us, that we are not equal, we are different. Everybody at his own capacity. It is important. The, 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 the Bible is trying to let talk about mutual respect and you go into to the Bible. It's trying to tell you that God is aware. He knows what he's doing. That is why you, you can walk straight, you are healthy, but some, somebody is crawling and he's human being like you. He's crawling. So, do you disrespect the person because he's crawling? That's how God created him? The answer is no. You must know the place of God in everybody's life, whether the person is a Christian or not. Because first of all, you must understand that all human beings are being created by God. So we should understand that. But in a situation whereby you are doing your part and then somebody is not giving you that respect that you deserve, that God accord to you, simply because I am friend to Joyce and Joyce is head of, uh, head of, uh, head of uh, programs. And then I'm a producer. I'm just using this as a just close example, you know, and I'm a producer. By the virtue of me being producer, she's a producer, we're equal. But there's extra on her. She's head of uh, 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 programs. That means if I create a program, it will go through her. So that means I should respect her. I should not feel because this is where I am, this is where she is, so I can disregard certain things and look at her and then tell her whatever I feel like telling her. No, that shouldn't happen. If I do that, that means it, me, I'm inferring right of God upon me. It has nothing to do with her. You, you understand? So that one is there. So we should understand that. And if you are to do your best in the level of giving your own mutual respect to whoever deserves, do your part and leave the rest. If the person reciprocates, fine. If he doesn't, know that. Know that, know that people can be like that. So they shouldn't stop you. Continue, push whatever you are pushing, and then uh, uh, increase your capacity. And also learn to um, give people the benefit of doubt. There are certain people that um, a long time ago, they did certain things that were disrespectful. Mm. After a while, you cannot just continue to judge them based on how they were five years ago, based on how they were eight years ago, mm. something might have happened mm. and they decided to they be have, better have people. Have an encounter with, <laughs> with <Jesus>. So you <laughs> should learn yeah. to Flocking. give people yes. the benefit of the doubt. Mm. Even at the workplace, yeah, there are certain people that, yes, you know that when this particular job comes, this is the person that comes to your mind. When this particular job comes, this is the person that comes to your mind. But that first person you tried a few years ago that was struggling, try him again. You don't know if he had <laughs> built himself up or done certain things. It is really okay to give people benefit of doubt at one point or the other. So, um, Elia Tony. <laughs> 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 Thank you very much, Sabo Sulu, for He said, what is it? Then he said, we're not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm talking, like, uh, I know why you always say you have thick skin. <clears throat> if there are people that get the most tones, it's, it's usually leaders, mm. people that are at the hems of affairs. Everybody wants you to do how they want it. Mm. If you do it how Sabu Slobo uh, Jebiba will be angry. If you do it how Jebiba wants it, Sabu Slobo is angry. Mm. People will always have things to say as regard this is the way things should be done, not knowing the position in which you are standing that made you to take that particular decision. Mm. So as a leader working in an environment with different kind of people, like, what would be your advice to people out there that are also wearing the same shoe but are oftentimes disrespected? It, it has to do with your, with the capacity, like Solo has said. Mm -hmm. Where are the options? Mm -hmm. Where is my journey? Do you know there are sometimes you are traveling, you want to stop and urinate, but because of what is taking you, you just want to get there first. Mm -hmm. You have a pressing issue, but something is more pressing at the end. Mm -hmm. It tells us what your priority is. Mm. It tells us, let me tell you something. When Buhari was president, mm. they spent almost four years responding to insults mm. and threats yeah. to 
the extent they almost did nothing. Mm-hmm. Look at Tinubu. He just brings out the policy he's facing Anuraki <laughs> because there are people implementing it. And it's working. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, uh, two people must not think the same way. Mm-hmm. But you can learn from how the other person is thinking. thinking. As a leader, mm-hmm. you already know. Mm. A leader. Let me start with husband. One wife, one small child. You have the opinion of the husband, you have that of the wife, and you have that of the child. And you are angry that the child of two years is refusing to eat cow leg, that he wants to drink milk. Why are you angry? Then the mother does not want cow leg, she wants milk. As a leader, you must find a way. Your wife may be older than you. Mm. Right? Mm. But you must find a way as a leader to tell her, Madam, this food is meant for babies. Mm. You can't keep taking this. That's why I bought the cow leg with the bone. Because your teeth are strong enough. This is just a baby. Mm. We have to let this baby know that this milk is what it's, it's, it's his or hers. Mm. But as a leader, you don't let That's the only thing I can, I can bring. But you don't do that. You don't do that. There are times where you have to stand on your feet as a leader and make people do things by force. Mm. By force. But there are times also that you hear that someone broke a plate at work. You'll be like, what happened? Next time, be more careful. Mm. There are times that you must say that this money will be removed from your salary. And other people will be like, this man is wicked. Mm. <laughs> but you don't know what the leader saw that he said the money must be removed from her salary. There are people that have met me several times. Ah, why did you take this decision on Solo? When I tell them three things on Solo as well, I say, why didn't you sack him? <laughs> that means you took a better decision, a, 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 a mild, a softer decision. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a softer decision than what you should have done. Mm-hmm. So you see, what the leader sees, what the leader knows, what the leader is aware of, what the leader is told, mm-hmm. the workers have no idea half what is going on. As a leader, you must stand your feet. Even if you share one million to every staff for free, there are people that will still not like you. That's true. You must understand that. Yeah. It's not, it's not, you can't have 10 people working with you and you say 10 people must like you. 10 people must. Somebody left work one time and she said, uh, Me, I'm angry because she didn't used to come and gossip with me. I'm like, seriously? Yes. I said, okay. Leave. God bless you wherever you are going to. To God who made me, I have never ever like opened my office to people to come and gossip. When when do I have that time? But as a leader, there is what you think, as a follower, what you think is gossip mm. to a leader is information. Mm. Sir, Joyce has been bringing food to the office and you say nobody should eat in the office. That's not gossip. That's information. But when you tell your fellow staff, it's gossip. Mm. But the leader must know that there is a law that you have set as a leader. Joyce is breaking it. And you that is telling me, be strong enough. When I call Joyce, you should repeat the same thing. Don't say, sir. <laughs> it's, not, it's not because I, I just said it to, I just, uh, uh, Or you act surprised. Act surprised. <laughs> me? me? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Next time I won't never trust tell you. him again. Mm. I, I will never talk to you. Even if I see his car burning, I'll let him drive off with it. It's wrong. It's wrong. How can we as an organization have things that are broken? Till today we don't know who did them. You are irresponsible as a staff. How can a leader eat from salaries of staff and lie to them that this is the reason why you have not been paid? You are irresponsible as a leader. So, as a leader, you must, that thick skin, if you don't have it, bullets will. And when you are weak from the wounds, you can't do anything. The people you are leading will start leading you. That's very true. You see, and when the people like... start leading the leader, <laughs> there is a problem. Everybody's yeah, opinion must be heard. Yeah. Yeah. If you have 100 people, you have 100 leaders. Mm-hmm. Let's start the building this way. No, let's start it this way. No, let's start from the top. No, let's start from the middle. No, let's. Diverse opinions. But once there is a leader, he says, put the first block here. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes, sir. When they are choking it, put the second, even if there is a mistake, okay, let's correct it this way. That is the role of a leader. Mm-hmm. You can't be a leader and say, you open your doors for everybody to come and gossip, tell you this, tell you that. No. No. 
there are people when I see them in my office, it doesn't look like we work together. Because they don't often come until they are called. But there are people that will even come to my office and open fridge and say, do you have water? It's relationship that you have built. And if such people think that because they have that kind of relationship with me, they can control the... Look for another leader to control. This one cannot be controlled. Obviously. And as a leader, you have to be sure of that destination you are taking the followers of course, to. Of so course. that you don't hit the rocks and then of everybody keeps saying, I said we should do it this way, you refuse. I said we should go this way and then the... the, 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 back and forth. the that's back that's the reason so why most sure. people at the end of their stay in the office, that's when they start calling people. Huh? If I had known, I wouldn't have listened to what Hassan told me. That's why I fought you in December mm. on the 4th and we fought to the next December till 17th. <laughs> You that time that I gave you that this thing, it was Joyce that told me, and I'm very mm-hmm. sorry. It was later after you even came back that I found out you didn't do it. That you don't react, you don't act on impulse. And mm-hmm. see, the fact that somebody is a leader does not mean he knows more than you. No, he's just called there mm-hmm. to lead. Mm-hmm. To lead. I, I, and the leader learns on the job. Mm-hmm. There are decisions I used to take in those days. I don't take them now. Mm-hmm. Every day you grow as a leader, you grow every day, you know. Even as a follower, you also grow. Yes. The things you received query for two years ago, if you are still receiving them now, you are a big baby. Mm. And we should check what is wrong with your growth. Mm. You are not growing. Mm. Uh-uh. Six months ago, you collected query for the same thing. Today, you are collecting again. Stagnated. You are stagnated. I mean, respect is reciprocal. Mm. Respect should be mutual for the sake of humanity and fairness and for the sake of productivity at work. But you should not expect it. Better people dish out respect to you or not. Like forge ahead. Focus on building capacity. You know, there's this concept um, of Ubuntu that spoke, that speaks about oneness. Like you are because I am. So if we're going to treat each other with that like think about how much we're going to achieve. Mm. There's no man that is an island. You cannot exist on your own. So think about everybody you see out there that you dish out disrespect to. If they are not there, you can't do those things for yourself. Mm. So we need to recognize the importance and the greatness in each and every one that we work with and that we live around with. Not just at work, but everywhere we find ourselves. Some of us are so respectful to people we work with, but the moment we step outside the gate or offices where we, we operate, we start dishing out disrespect because we feel those people are not up to our standard and all of that. You know, table turns, nobody knows tomorrow. Though you know the one that knows tomorrow, it doesn't mean that you should just behave anyhow. Mm-hmm. So it is very important. That, um, we see respect as being mutual. Why you expect respect? Try as much as possible that you also give out respect to people out there. It's been an amazing discussion. Thank you so much. Same here. Yeah. Thank you. So to our viewers out there, thank you so much for staying with us. If you have been found wanting, especially in disrespecting people, please have a moral turnaround. Like disrespect speaks a lot against you, but you can do better by dishing out respect. It's it's that's what separates pedestrian and intellectuals keep respecting people and i'm sure that you are going to reap from that thank you so much equa tv supporters thank you equa executive we're really grateful to all the children out there including myself i'm a big baby happy children's day to us i know that at the end of this show i'm going to receive cake from my my big daddy engineer tony j dakali so you can do well to join us. There will be cake and, and Fanta. This, this sounds like, and this, a, lot this of, sound like a setup. So I'm celebrating <laughs> him in advance. He has been an amazing father. Thank you, sir. So, Thank you, sir. So after the it's show. Our it's, it's our daddy. It's our daddy. So after the show, daddy. there will be cake. There will be rice and plenty. Maybe we'll go. The people, they will take us out. They will it's our daddy, right? <laughs> Thank you for being an amazing daddy. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll see you tomorrow, same time. Take care of yourself.